Got some mills at a teeth clean at a Mike Dangley the Wayu Gingola the Wawaku. Simil Steve Badehko, Vancouver the Wolzagan. My uh, Niska name is Got some mills. My clinket name is Teeth Clean, and my everyday name is Mike Dangley. I'm from the village of Gingola. I'm Niska. Dingit and Simshan, and I live in uh, beautiful unceded Coast Salish territory of Vancouver, BC. Well, uh, it's an absolute pleasure and, and an honor to be here to work with Michael Gray Eyes, uh, who contacted me. We've been uh, following each other on, on social media for some time now, and uh, We've been looking for a project to work together and, and hopefully this has turned into other projects that we could eventually do together. Um, but I know he was uh, preparing with uh, a play, directing a play with Yvette Nolan and they were wanting to do some birds and so they've contacted me to come on out here and do a workshop, a week-long workshop, talking about masks and, and my understanding of what we call nuk nuk. That's our, our power masks and our power beans amongst my people. and. It's been beautiful being in, in uh, at York in this beautiful studio to be able to create these six masks with some really wonderful uh, human beings and we've all kind of put ourselves and our energy into this great project. Making these masks was, was very different because for us and in, in my traditional uh, teachings with the ma mask making, it's removing wood away to create the mask and this was building and adding to it. So we start off with a, a skeleton of a, of a piece and add, out of plywood and then chicken wire and then paper mache and it was uh, something that I had never done before. Uh, but did quite a bit of research on before I came out here and it was really awesome to work with um, uh, James and Michael on, on all of us kind of talking our way through this and and uh, kind of drawing on all, all everybody who was part of this project um, knowledge on this so that we could create these very West Coast looking beans so it's, it was really amazing to be a part of that. It's been wonderful in the way that um, people are so open to this whole entire experience. It's been um, awesome in that in that aspect that we've had so many visitors coming and so excited about this process and creating these beans uh, in a very busy shop, which is awesome. I mean, you could definitely feel the energy from from the students and the people that are working on other projects, but also the group that has been working with this. It's been it's been a really uh, an amazing experience and quite the blessing. I, uh, I think every day has had its its it has its challenges, but every day has been really awesome. Being able to to work with with Michael and and James and and uh, their uh, various years uh, of students that have come through, and and even some of the staff and other volunteers, people from the community coming, you know, and and being a part of this as well has been um, a really awesome experience. Uh, all of it has been wonderful. Um, I've been out in Toronto about 15 years ago and, and the energy and everything has changed, the vibe has changed so much. It's, uh, it's been really wonderful to be a part of this and, and see um, 
a, a lot more of our indigenous people and and uh, i really enjoyed that and, and uh, seeing where everybody is at within their hearts and sharing their their medicine has been beautiful to witness thank you so much thank you